standard 6th fifth lesson substances in the surroundings their states and properties children in previous video we have studied about different states of substances now this is second part of this lesson and in today's video we'll study heat and change of physical state now how heat is related to change of physical state of substance children yesterday i gave you example of ice water and water vapor so by considering that same example see solid state means what ice then on heating or when you will increase temperature or you can say when you will keep it outside freezer means on heating it will convert into liquid that is in water then again water on heating when you will heat water it will convert into water vapor that is gaseous state but when that water vapor cools down see again now reverse see this arrow look at this arrow so on cooling again that water vapor converts into liquid then again water when you are keeping water in freezer that is on cooling again it converts into ice that is solid state so this is what changes of state solid liquid and gas so changes of state of substances takes place because of change in temperature or you can say it is effect of heat now children next point is the temperature and a thermometer see children boiling of water or conversion of water into ice is not a quick process it take some time right first of all when any substance get heat it becomes warm and then after that after some time it becomes hot right now can you tell me how to measure temperature of water yes it is very easy just by putting finger in that water isn't it no if water is too hot then you may get hurt okay so that is not a proper technique to measure temperature of water see children what is this this is thermometer you can measure temperature of any substance by using this thermometer not only this there are many types of thermometer this is normal th thermometer which we are having at home now see children in this glass normal water is there tap water is there at normal temperature now i will put this thermometer in water for some time see children now can you see this yellow marking normal water temperature now we will put it in cold water see children look at the difference now we'll put it in hot water look at this children can you see the difference in all three readings first i kept it in normal water then i kept it in cold water and then lastly i kept it in hot water okay so under your parents observation and or else with the help of your parents you can do it at home also okay don't do it alone ask your parents to guide you for this experiment look at these pictures few more types of thermometers are given you might have seen this type of thermometer also this is digital thermometer okay which we use at home for measuring body temperature right to measure body temperature 
See children, as I told you, here it is given degree Celsius. See, degree Celsius is the unit of measuring temperature. See on this thermometer also it is written. These are for Celsius and down this 94, 96, 98 this is what Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit is another unit of measuring temperature. On textbook page number 34 one more experiment is given and which we have done now. Like first we took normal water then hot water and cold water you can take lukewarm water also and you can measure its temperature then make chart and record it okay after this some examples are given here like boiling water its temperature is 100 degree celsius freezing water is 0 degree celsius air that is air in winter night is less than 15 degree celsius air in summer afternoon more than 35 degree celsius inside the fridge inside the fridge if you will measure it is less than 5 degree celsius then inside the freezer if you will measure it is less than minus 18 degree celsius body temperature is approximately 37 degree celsius now children next point is boiling water is continuously evaporating what is evaporation have you observed sometime wet floor gets or wet floor dries after few minutes yes and this is nothing but because of evaporation it dries after some time okay now what exactly happens in the process of boiling of water? Boiling means what? We are heating water. We are giving heat to that water. And increase in heat means what? Increase in temperature. So that it starts evaporating. And this evaporation rate increases after some time. Okay. And this is, this boiling of water is a process which takes place in each and every part of water, everywhere. And when you can see that, when you can say that water is boiling, when bubbles start coming out of that water, right? So, these water bubbles rising at faster and faster rate to the surface and mix with the steam okay mix in the form of steam in air and this is nothing but boiling of water boiling means what bubbles coming out of water and steam mix mixes in the air mixing of steam in air and this process is also called as ebullition process so at sea level Pure water boils at 100 degree Celsius. So this is boiling point of water. Now the next point is condensation. Children, do you know what is mean by condensation? When water vapor cools, it is converted into water again. And this process is called as condensation. See in your textbook this definition is given here. And this condensation of steam takes place at 100 degree Celsius. And boiling point is also 100 degree Celsius. So you can say that condensation point and boiling point both are same. Children have you observed your mother while cooking in kitchen? If yes then you might have seen this process of condensation. What exactly happens in the process of condensation is when we remove lead from 
any vessel which contains hot food stuff or while cooking also if lid is kept then you can see this type of water droplets inside the lid okay and this is nothing but condensation of water because that water vapor which is collected on the lid when you remove it get cool okay when you remove it it is getting cooled down and then it is converted into water this process is called as condensation of water now again this chart is given while gaining heat now you have to read it from this side solid when it is heated melting process is going on so it is converted into liquid then liquid on gaining heat when it is getting heated then hot liquid is then on that hot liquid boiling process is going on and it is converted into gas or you can say vapor then while losing heat while losing heat that water vapor converted into liquid again yes so condensation process and then again losing heat means freezing process is going on after that so children in this video we have studied boiling of water and what is the boiling point of water at sea level it is 100 degree celsius and that is not nothing but condensation point of water also so both condensation and boiling point of water both are same that is 100 degree celsius in next video we'll study another property that is freezing